Alright guys, welcome back to a bit more Final Fantasy X. This is going to be a little bonus part of uh, Final Fantasy X Eternal Calm. Now, uh, I found out that this wasn't even a game apparently. It's like a, I don't know, a 20 minute cutscene thingy. So, uh, as this little bo bonus part after the, the, the ending that happened, uh, last time uh, I'll be watching this and then uh, Final Fantasy X 2 I won't be playing this uh, right now I'll be playing Mineko but let me know uh, if you guys want me to play Final Fantasy X 2 as well um, I can do that if you guys want me to but I'm gonna stick with playing uh, Eternal Calm right now just to put a full end to Final Fantasy X uh, and its story and everything uh, which was a fantastic game. Uh, I enjoyed it to bits. I'm guessing that the uh, the picture below there, like the image below, with Yuna holding a gun for some reason, and Riku and uh, whoever that girl on the left is. I don't know who she is. I don't. I I've mentioned this before. If, where uh, that entire like cover art below, I've mentioned before that I don't know who the girl on the left is. I still don't know who she is. So I'm gonna assume that's like all part of Final Fantasy X-2 and this X-2 last mission thing. Uh, I don't know what credits and bonus audio is. But yeah, X-2 until X-2 last mission. Uh, I'm assuming that's what the image below is showing. So uh, yeah, Yuna and Riku seems like they went full fan service mode in X-2. Because uh, comp I mean compared to Final Fantasy X, I mean... Riku is wearing an e even more re revealing clothes than she was in Final Fantasy X and Yuna has gone full, full psycho. I mean, she was wearing like a whole like, 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 like summoner dress and now she's gone full gunner like fan service. This is literally fan service. I, 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 that's, the, that's my first impression. <laughs> They're just like, you know what, Final Fantasy X was successful. Let's uh, have them, you know, have them wear more revealing clothes and make a new game called Final Fantasy X 2. Maybe. Maybe. And then they add, let's add an extra girl on the left with silver hair and red eyes. Because that's classic JRPG. <laughs> or something. But, uh, yeah. Uh, I found out that the last couple seats in Final Fantasy X are uh, blocked for me. So, you guys uh, are going to have to look that, those up on YouTube. But, uh, yeah. Other than that, I have I have recorded everything. It sucks that those scenes were blocked, but at the same time it makes sense. Uh, along with the underwater scene that you can see in the cover, that was also blocked, unfortunately. But uh, again, go look it up. They're all beautiful scenes. I've already rewatched the underwater scene. Before. It was great underwater date. Um, but yeah, for now, I'm gonna get into Final Fantasy X: Eternal Calm and round off Final Fantasy X probably for the rest of the year. I'm probably not going to get into Final Fantasy X 2 until next year. So uh, yeah, this is my daily... My daily uh, video grind, by the way, is going to stop uh, this year. I'm not going to do... I'm not going to keep doing this daily upload next year. Ah, it's, it's enough. This is enough. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to get into Eternal Calm for now. And that's probably gonna round up Final Fantasy X for good. And then, well, not for good, for this year. And then, ten to maybe next year. If this, if this video gets uh, a lot of support, a, a good reception, and the last part, which was the final part of Final Fantasy X, if that also gets enough, uh, you know, enough support, I'll keep doing ten to. And if the support comes quick enough, I might actually just straight up. Uh, play it alongside Umineko because Umineko already has a lot of support I'm gonna full focus on that but this uh, if this gets enough support these final parts I might keep it going and do it at the same time as Umineko so I can put out one part of Umineko and one part of Final Fantasy X 2 at the same time so let me know let me know but for now I said but for now enough times let's make this the real final time let's get into this eternal calm all right uh, funnily enough I, I know I said, let's get into this. But funnily enough, I actually said the name of this game 
last time when I when we brought the eternal calm. I said eternal calm. Like yeah, we did it. We brought the eternal calm. I said it in a cutscene. Unfortunately, the the scene was blocked, so you guys can't hear me say that. But I was like, yeah, we brought the eternal calm. And then as I said that, I realized, wait a minute, that's the name of this thing that I, that that it's in the uh, cover, in the cover. Uh, in the, you know, in the main cover of the game here, when, once you first get into it. It's called Final Fantasy X Eternal Calm. And I'm like, oh, that's probably why it's called Eternal Calm. Because we've managed to bring the Eternal Calm. Wow, I didn't think about it like that. <laughs> but now I get it. Uh, I would have liked to see you guys uh, watch that with me. But uh, unfortunately, yeah. It was actually a really funny moment. But uh, yeah, I can't do much about that. Oh well. Uh, yeah, let's go. Let's get into Final Fantasy X Eternal Calm for good now. Here we go. Hopefully it's good. Hopefully it's good. This should be... This sounds like a continuation of the ending, to be honest. 37, 38, 39, what? what is she 40, counting? 41. What are you counting? Is this Yuna? It sounds like her voice actress. Oh, it's you as a kid, isn't it? Yeah, it's time. Coming. No, 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 she's still grown up, I think. Nah, she's still grown up. Cuz Walker looks grown up. You're diving like a real pro, yeah? <laughs> You'll always be the pro, Walker. I don't know. It's been so long since it's I It's actually changed. impressive. 2 minutes on the water. 2 minutes 41. It's very impressive. <laughs> 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 What was that noise? Wait, what? Wait, what was that noise? Wait, what? Is having a baby? With who? Oh wow, his zipper is like open. He's, oh wow, have you gotten that fat? Who's having a baby? Walker got married? When? With who? Don't tell me it's Lulu. It's been two years since the eternal call? Is he having a baby with Lulu? Or Riku? Nah, not Riku. No way. And there are some tricks you can't be told. That's very impressive, though. I I can. Lots and lots of I can probably hold my breath for a minute. I just had to keep trying. But not two minutes. That's out. very impressive, you know. That's a, that deserves a clap. And you know what? Back then, I didn't think there were any tricks to it at all. I didn't have time to think. Yeah, you're so busy fighting sin. We freaking did it. We did it. A slightly <laughs> chubby walker. <laughs> walker, walker slacking off. But it's enough. We didn't sin and walker starts slacking off and apparently getting pregnant. I wonder who his wife is. Is it Lulu? That's who. Uh, I mean, okay, I, can I see them being together? I don't know, maybe. Lulu and Waka? That's an interesting relationship. Lulu's all gothy. She's just a goth girl. Ugh. I wanna see though. I really wanna... I'm interested who his partner is. Who's, who's Waka's significant other, I wonder. So is Yuda get married too? Is, is she gonna get married? Or is she gonna be like, nah, I, I, I was the only one for her. Like, Titus was the only one for her. Now that, Tina, T now that Titus is gone, she's not getting married anymore. She's just gonna keep... I don't know. How wonder if I can pause. I can't pause. Okay. Lady Una, cool. It is a pleasure to meet you. I, I heard your speech two years ago in the stadium. Sup, that's Gio. S seeing you this close, you, you look so much more... I mean, you are truly beautiful. That's very kind of you to say. The reason I've come here today is to talk to you about my grandson. He's joined the Youth League, you see. Okay. I have nothing against the League, mind you. It's just me and the missus belong to New Yevon. My grandson used to attend all the party meetings with his parents, of course. That is, until one day. I'm sure being around people his own age can't be bad for the boy. Still, I am worried about him. I feel, oh, how shall I say this? 
like our grandchildren are moving too quickly. In the last two years, new groups have been springing up all over. Everyone wants to be part of a new age. Everyone wants to build a new age. Everyone wants to build a new spirit. Makes sense. And they're all racing to find their own way to do it. That's some good world building. That's some I good. I like it. For him. But it troubles me when we agree on so little. People have different ideas, and sometimes they disagree on the right thing to do. Hmm. Some people worry about what the new age will bring. Yeah. So the new age has brought its own problems. I worry too. Even the eternal calm has brought its own problems. I just have to tell myself that for now, I'm doing the right thing. You've saved humanity of Spira. I understand how you feel. But Tastio, maybe you should try talking to your grandson first. He may walk a different path, but I'm sure he wants the same for Spira as we all do. I think that was the right thing to say, you know. That was the right thing to say. I think. I think you should just have a talk. It's hard in these times too, because like, it's like right after we brought Eternal Calm, so everything's just in change. Everything's changing. It's not. It's gonna take a good many years, perhaps even decades, or even more than that, even before we get a proper. Before we get a properly new shaped spear, so what is it? Another visitor? No, no, I just wanted to chat, yeah. <laughs> it's just uh, the old folks in the village, they like to see you get, uh, you know. And who is it this time? Well, they're saying it's the son of the chairman of New Yevon, yeah. Oh. Oh, married. Oh. So she decides not to get married then. Uh, right. I'm sorry. Okay. Don't worry. I'll go tell them myself. No, no. You leave that to me, yeah? Huh? You really don't want to see them anyway. <laughs> Besides, Waka's your guardian. Well, ex-guardian. She's not getting married, okay? She's not gonna let anyone use her. <laughs> Lady Yuna, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Yaibo. I've come on Youth League business. I bring a message for you from our leader, Maven Nuge. Okay. She's not interested in joining, yeah? Oh? Is that why you've come? That is correct, my lady. I'm sorry, but I will not be joining any group. Perhaps the lady will start a group of her own. No. The lady's independent. Please, she don't need no group. Please. Hey, stop bothering her. <laughs> she saved the world and now you're bothering her? Come on. Let her rest. She's done her job. She deserves to literally live like a queen for the rest of her life. Oh, that's She's great. been traveling around Spira, salvaging ancient machina and teaching people how to use them. Ah, that's great. It's tiring work, but you wouldn't know it from looking at her. Yeah, because of her behavior. I, l I really like Riki's expressions. Hey, cut it out! How, how does his stomach make that sound? Where's Lulu? So, Back in a village. Go say hi. She is Lulu! Lulu is his wife! That's, oh, that's really weird and cool. Yeah, same as always. Can't, that's, that's, that's a bit like uh, walking Lulu. I, I, for some reason, I was not expecting that. Still on Mount Gagazette. Yeah, he's been up there teaching the orphan Ronzo all kinds of stuff. Ah, that's great. He's like this big guru now. Oh yeah, he's great. Oh, that reminds me, I got something. Kamari found it up on the mountain. A sphere? Funny looking design, yeah? Take a good look. Is it the one I threw? Is it the one I threw? 
Is it? No, I'm not sorry. I haven't done anything wrong. <laughs> I know you're listening. If she was your girl, what would you do? How can you blame me for trying to use your weapon? It was the only way I could save the summoner. What would you do if you were me? Uh huh. Let me out! I want to see her! Oh. Oh, damn. I see. I see, I see. Okay. I think. It was a voice from the past. No. It was a voice that's never left me. What is this? What's he doing? I mean, is that really him? Is that... Is he... What's going on? I'm not sure. Is that back when we were imprisoned in Bavel? You want to find out, don't ya? Well, yeah, but... Yes. Let's go then. Go where? Well, that's the tricky part. I know. Kimari found the sphere. Let's go talk to him. You have to go all the way to Mount Kegizet? That's a whoa, far journey. Whoa. You sure you're ready to just run off? Can't you wait until we find out a little more first? And just who's supposed to do the finding out? Leave that to us. You again? I'm sure Maven Nuge will agree to help. In fact, I volunteer to ask him myself. God damn it. <laughs> Come on. I shall return as soon as possible with a full report of our investigation. God damn, these these guys are relentless. <laughs> well, look, I really want Yuna to go. She can't do that. Why not? Because she's book solid for three months, yeah? And everybody wants to see her. Oh yeah? Well what about what she wants? Oh yeah, but what does she want? Okay, maybe once things calm down, you know? Mm. And what if they don't, Waka? What then, huh? I don't believe it. After everything Yuna did for us. Why can't she just do what she wants to do now? Why? She does deserve it. She does deserve a, you know, a, a good rest. Here, I wondered, why is it that when everyone's out making their dreams happen, and everyone's getting their chance, Yuna's dreams are on hold. Gee, it's not like you... Ooh. What do you know anyway, Tubby? <laughs> Yuna? I want... I want to journey again. But... If I leave... I'll be disappointing everyone else. Stop, frick everyone. You've saved everyone's lives. Frick everyone else, bro. Like, you deserve to do whatever you want. What's the point of pretending to be all grown up if it means the things I want to say never get said? How am I supposed to change anything? There you go. Still getting inspired by me. I knew it. I'll go. You yes. I know it's selfish. But this is... <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> you'd say that. Oh. Is this where she gets that? Look, wait, you two. Uh, I'll go get Lou. <laughs> is she pregnant? Is is she? It is her, isn't it? I, I, I'm pretty sure it's her. It's pregnant. So is this where she gets that new outfit? <laughs> A slightly chubby walker. <laughs> It's not much, but it's enough. Still, it's okay to want more, isn't it? You deserve all the more, Yuna. Like, you deserve everything. <laughs> you saved the world. Ricky, You're the see? summoner. Let's leave right now. You're the summoner. Okay, freak, freak Lulu. So is this where she gets that costume change? Is this where she gets that uh, that costume you see in the cover? 
of the uh, of the game in the main uh, main menu. I wonder. Unless she starts using guns. <laughs> what is that about? Let's see it. Oh, is that it? Is that it? That's it? Maybe that's it. Maybe that's the end of this. Is that the end of Eternal Calm? Ah, uh, I want to see the... Okay. I think that is it. Get the... Oh, okay. Okay. We didn't even get to see Lulu pregnant, yo. Ah, that's it. Okay. Yep. I can especially tell that that's it, because I just got the... Uh, the Eternal Comp Trophy, which is watching this, I guess. Well, that was a very short little cutscene there. <laughs> that lasted for like 10 minutes. Uh, I was hoping it'd be a little, a little bit, a little bit longer. I was, I was hoping to get a. I don't know. I was hoping to at least get a. I don't know, a Lulu pregnant scene or something. A slightly chubby walker. <laughs> oh well. But I'm guessing. The costume changes we are talking about are the uh, are the uh, are what we see on the cover art down there, right? And Yuna's apparently gonna start using guns now. Interesting. And uh, okay, more revealing clothes for all of them, and some new girl on the left here. I wonder who she is. I wonder if she's like the leader of that youth league or whatever that that one guy was talking about. Maybe she's the one. I don't know who she is though. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to be playing Final Fantasy X 2 right away. Uh, but like I said, if this receives good enough reception, if you guys like this, and if you guys like the last part, the final part of Final Fantasy X, let me know. And I could I could strike a deal where I record both Team Echo and X 2. Let me know. But for now, that's it. That's finally it. That's the end of this bonus part. And that will actually be it for Final Fantasy X, officially, for uh, for this year. I know I said that last part as well, but this bonus part is like a little bonus thing. These final cutscenes. Alright, y'all. Uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed this journey. Um, and this bonus part. And uh, let's hope... Once I do, whenever I do play Final Fantasy X2, let's hope uh, we get to see a, a Lulu pregnant scene. <laughs> uh, let's hope that this is a good game as well. Let's hope Final Fantasy X2 is a good game. Hopefully, it's just as good as Final Fantasy X. Although I'm not gonna put my expectations that high because Final Fantasy X was absolutely amazing. We'll see though. But okay, y'all. Uh, I'll meet you guys in whatever in whatever uh, I'm doing next. I'll meet you guys in the next journey. I hope that you guys have enjoyed Final Fantasy X and this bonus Eternal Calm part. I'll see you guys with Final Fantasy X 2 maybe next year or if this gets enough support maybe soon this year. We'll see. But for now I hope you guys enjoyed this. And uh, yeah. I'll see y'all soon. Peace everybody, peace.